It's a gray, windy, wet morning. And we just popped out of the green tunnel for the first time today. It's around 7.30, 7.45. Started hiking at our usual about five. Um, hey, welcome to day 118 our northbound through hike attempt of the Appalachian Trail. It is June the 22nd today. By the way, two is my favorite number. So 22, well, I should double my favorite number. <laughs> so, today's plan, well, oh, look at the communities below. Wow, that would be like Williamstown and Adams North Adams, those places, I believe. I, I'm not 100% sure. In fact, that might not all be that. Might not at all be that. Because I think we're a little bit further north than that, but I honestly don't know. Anyhow, having said that, uh, <clears throat> we're pushing north, uh, into deeper into Vermont. We entered the Vermont, uh, or passed the Vermont state line yesterday about one o'clock in the afternoon well, we've got some signs okay let me see now oh look 557 miles to, to Tartan uh, wow okay I'll believe you I will believe you this is an old sign I think there'll be a register in the box yeah little register book right there um, that's fine. Harry and, oh no, Harmon Hill. 2,000, is that 2,323 feet on the long trail? Okay. So, hey, just a uh, little bit, a little bit of good morning banter to uh, throw out here. Um, I was looking at the guide last night and again this morning, AWOL, Appalachian Trail Guide. And I guess now suffices for the long trail at the same kind of time, but oh, a hundred miles of it, anyhow. Um, so Manchester Center is our, going to be our next logical location for resupply, shower, laundry, maybe bath, shower. Uh, I said bath, charge our electrics, this kind of thing. And there is a hostel there called Green. Well, it's called green something or other. It's $40 a night plus tax. And what they say is, when you get to the trailhead on Vermont 1130, that's the highway, you hitch into town, you do your resupply, and then you call these folks and they come and p pick you up from the store, take you back to uh, the hostel. Not sure how it works the next morning. Uh, by the sounds of it, though, by the sounds of that procedure, you're probably responsible for your own ride back to the trailhead again which would probably be shuttle, Uber, taxi, something like that and of course you always hope that you can split with other hikers leaving that morning I booked a room, or not a room, sorry, a bunk for Friday evening of this week that's the 24th I guess today being Wednesday so we got quite a push, it's about 45 miles to get there and we have the remainder of Wednesday, Thursday, and then whatever time we have on Friday to get there. Um, so we're going to push hard. Well, actually, uh, from where I am right now, it's probably around 40 miles. Uh, by the end of the day, if I can do that uh, kid shelter, I think I, I, I calculated, I don't know, 28 maybe. I'd have to recalculate, but 28 miles remaining. And if I do my minimum 15 tomorrow, that would leave 13 on Friday. And of course, if I do more than 15, say if I did 18 tomorrow, that would leave 10 on Friday. So all in all, it's going to work out one way or another. Uh, yeah. My bear count, by the way, on this trail is now up to four after the one we saw yesterday. Yeah, that was a nice big bear. So I'm up to four bears. There are some people out here that I've spoke to that have seen double that number, but we've seen four. 
Okay, guys, we're gonna just get into this hiking because we've <laughs> we've got uh, not very far to go, and we've got a long time to do it in, so we better get at it. No, hang on a minute. I said that wrong, didn't I? Just just reverse that. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. We just finished yet another steep, crazy, rocky, terrifying <laughs> uh, descent. William D. MacArthur. Memorial Bridge, 1977. Okay. Well, we've just crossed Highway 9 in Vermont. So we had a steep, steep, rocky descent. Now we have a challenging, steep, climb, rocky. Look at the rocks. Beautiful though, isn't it? Wow. Let's take a look on this side. Wow again. Okay. Let's just keep moving. After pretty much two hours of straight climbing, we're entering the lower layers of the clouds. You can see from the electric poles, maybe, the trees just across the electric pole kind of gap there. Uh, yeah, one heck of a climb. Merciless, challenging, rocky, steep. Whew. I don't know. This whole day, I just checked the profile now for the rest of the day. From here, I have about 12.4 miles to where I plan on uh, camping tonight, and that's at that kid shelter. Um, but man, it's going to be one challenging 12.4 miles. At least half of it or more is going up, like steep up. Not a little bit up, but a lot. And then you come down on steep rocks, wet, slippy, then you go back up. Mm -hmm. Up and down, up and down, up and down. We are entering the Glastonbury Wilderness, Green Mountain National Forest. Whew. Wow. Okay. Well, let's get through this Green Mountain National Forest then. Hmm. It's a cold, wet day. Lots of miles to do today, lots of climbing to do today, lots of rocky, treacherous descents to do today. So I thought I would take a moment, I'm going to take time to have a hot lunch, coffee, ramen noodles with potato. I'm about halfway through my day, and this will give me the strength to get through the next half of this day. <laughs> It's day 118, but you knew that, because I told you already. Pushing north in Vermont. Manchester Centre is the next stop on Friday, today being Wednesday. After that, we push north, I think to possibly Rutland, Vermont, and then New Hampshire. Nothing like a hot lunch on a cold, damp, gray day. Mm. Takes a few more minutes, but I think the results are worth it, well worth it. Okay, I'm gonna finish my lunch, and we're gonna pack up, and we're gonna keep going, we've got a long way to go.
somewhere out there very close to where we are there's got to be the look we have steps how sweet is that <laughs> somewhere <laughs> out there very close to us it's got to be the side trail to a shelter it's called the Goddard shelter not the kiss one at 20 miles but the Goddard one at 16 because I do believe that's where I'm going to call home for the evening because I think today that is enough a lot of challenging climbs today no doubt about that so okay let's see if we can find this exit it's got to be close to here so we eventually did find the side trail that led us to this particular shelter and I think this is called the Goddard shelter yeah you can see there's an orange tent camped all right in there and just up the other side there's some more tents through those trees we are going to be camped right here on this nice little grassy spot I think we got a good spot here tonight should be nice should be soft it is cold up here it feels cold anyhow we're still right at that bottom layer of the cloud I don't know if you can tell if I turn the camera this way you can maybe just see all through this area of the image here just the kind of hazing of the of the trees as they just start to poke into the bottom layer of the clouds so hey um, 15.9 miles today this was day 118 and June the 22nd challenging becoming more challenging as each day goes by now as we get into more rocks more climbs yeah definitely challenging we've got our work cut out for us over the next oh five and a half hundred miles that's for sure but we'll talk to you guys in the morning right now I'm gonna have my dinner my hot chocolate relax have a good night's sleep tomorrow morning comes well 4 a.m. comes really early have a good night guys